All right, so now that the emotions aren't running high and I've had some time to think about this game, I have to admit, man, uh, I became a prisoner of the moment. You know, uh, the Lions were 5-1. and one. You had ESPN, Fox Sports, and all these networks, you know, giving Lions high praise for, you know, their play. And, you know, respectfully and rightfully so, the Lions – uh, off to the greatest start since the year 2011. And we came in feeling really good, you know, feeling really good about the defense. Jared Goff, uh, up to this point, uh, besides this game, has been playing like an MVP, MVP type of quarterback. And um, I just I just got high on my own supply. I guess I, I, I let them cloud my judgment. Coming into this season... My only expectations of this team was to win the division and win their first playoff game. Anything after that would just be a bonus. So once they got to that great start, that five and one start, I started thinking like, "Well, shit. Well, maybe I'm selling the Lions short. Maybe I need to. Maybe I need to raise my expectations past just a division win, past just a playoff game." But today's game showed me just how far the Lions still have to go to com- com- become that complete team. Now, I'm not saying the Lions aren't good. Yes, they are, of course. You don't go 5-1, and one, lose a game, and just all of, all of a sudden you're, you're a bad team. But what I will say is it does matter the level of competition. When, when Lions were faced with teams that are, you know, you know probably – Going to the more 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 than certainly going to the playoffs, teams that are probably going to have you know a long run in the playoffs, they drop the ball literally and figuratively. Lions dropping balls all through this game. Jamison, uh, Amara, you you name it. When we go up against these type of teams, and you you put up you put out that type of effort, that's disheartening. So yeah, yes, this is a humbling game, but a, a blowout, a, a a blowout loss like that, that can that can sometimes linger around if you're not careful. Now I do believe the Lions will get back on track against the Raiders coming up this Monday night, uh, next week. But you know, if if we do win, if we do go six and two, it's always going to be in the back of my mind like okay. If the Lions keep on beating up on all these weaker opponents, what does that actually mean? How do we gauge our success, right? Because once you get to the playoffs, you're not going to be playing these type of caliber teams. You're going to be playing teams that are at least on your level or if not that, even better. Don't think just because the Lion, there are Lions fans criticizing this team Hold them to a higher standard. There is something wrong with that. It's not. The Lions don't suck. No. But you have to question this team when it comes to playing other teams that are at least on your level, if not better. And why we continue to lose to these teams. So let me go ahead and, you know, get myself together. Let me go ahead and go back to my original expectations, which is a division win and winning their first playoff game since 1991 or 93, whichever one. That 5-1 start, you know, it it got to me. It got the best of me. Now it's time to go, you know, go back to the drawing board and come back down to reality. This was a reality check. I don't expect the Lions to just fall off from this game because, like I said, the, the remaining, you know, opponents on our schedule, it looks like the Lions are going to be favorites in most of those games. So I expect the Lions to finish strong, win a division, and then it will be winning that first playoff game. That's 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 where I'm at with it. I don't know what y'all expect, expectations are now. That's my expectation of this team. But I'll say all I need to say. Until next time. I'll see y'all later.